Bandages. Bandages, hold my legs and my arms for you. Bandages, bandages, bandages. He actually got bandages. There we go. Don't hurry now. What are you mumbling there? Dark times upon us. The town's dying, for it was written. Water shall become blood, like that of a dead man. True. Blood spills faster than water, and the body shall be desecrated, and the children shall rise up against their parents. Tell me, have you seen the Ripper? I've seen more than one Ripper. Do you look in the mirror often, Professor? I'm talking about Artemy Burak. He looks somewhere he looks somewhat wild and wears a leather robe. I've heard about Artemy Burak. Is he a Ripper though? Nay, Professor, he's a Haruspex. He belongs to the respected Burak family. It's not the same as cutting mongrels. It means something, although if you really need a mongrel cut. Do you know where he can be found? He settled down at the works, on the outskirts of town, either in the boiler house or in the power house. That's where he is, kind sir, but I but I would like to add, if I may, that he belongs not to a rough cellar, but rather to a half pace. What's half pace? I knew his father, Professor. He was a most worthy man. It is due to Isidore's goodwill that Foreman Oyun Oyun, uh, rather than the Harspex, is the current leader of the kin and the taskmaster of the abattoir. For Isidore had a, re had a relish for healing and learning rather than power. Yes, I knew Isidore. Oh, that's the end of that. Hey, little boy. What's up, kiddo? Do you like Clara, the changeling? I'm not sure. She is the person who can definitely raise people from the dead. We personally saw Clara drive the disease out of a person. He regained consciousness and went back to his family. How, how did she do it? She put pressure on his, eyelet, and on, on his eyes and temples, here and there with her hands, and went on for a while. Then she held his head in her embrace and kissed his nails. Then dirt came spilling down from below his eyelids. The black worms crawled out of his sleeves, and then he started breathing a little. Then a little more, and came back to life. That is impossible. And also very detailed of an account of a bizarre, incomprehensible, crazy vis uh, visual. Dirt came pouring out of his eyelids. One, uh, and also, ow? <laughs> you don't want things in your eyelids in general. That's a hell of a thing to wake up to. Just your own suffering, basically. I must have already checked. I think I checked those ones already, yeah. Down in the works. I wonder if I can find him. I probably have to for the sake of the quest, actually. Let's see, the arsonist. Can't help but remember one gut-wrenching old story. There was a traveling circus known as the Ace of Diamonds Caravan who were allegedly kidnapping small children and turning them into monsters. Anna advises that we tried to profit from the situation, that we might blackmail a good deal of money out of that hunchbacked uh, usurer. I'm just gonna look it up now. What is it? Uh, usurer is a person who lends money at unreasonably high rates of interest. So, I was right. Basically. It's a, basically a loan shark, but you know, somebody who's like, probably manipulative and a bit evil about it, which... Actually, yeah, basically just a loan shark, right? I, th I think that when you're- I think when you call somebody a loan shark as opposed to like a lender or whatever, you're implying that they're being a prick about it on some level. I think that's usually what people mean. In the meantime, I do not have today's quest yet. Only 9 a.m. Let's go to Laura. Lara, Laura, Laura. Lara, I hate the hate. I, I don't like that name. It, it's so... Uh. People correcting people over the pronunciation of, uh... Of, uh, Lara Croft's name... Drives me crazy. And it's just, it's made me infinitely go into, like, these feedback loops of confusion over the pronunciation of any of those... Any names in that family of names. Because there's ones that have a U and ones that don't have a U and so on, but also just like the name itself 
the, the tiny pronunciation difference between these different versions of that name are so small that uh, I find it to be on the margins of dialects, basically. And I think it's I think it's actually less that people are mispronouncing it and more that there just are accents and they exist. It's nowhere nearly as egregious as East East Coast people calling uh, our beloved Nintendo icon Mario. To do them too much good. But like it's so subtle that me pronouncing the U or not pronouncing the U in my even when I'm saying it on purpose, I have trouble hearing the difference. Yes. We are still alive. How very strange. We are, and we'll keep on going. Don't be sad. No, be sad. Just fucked, yo. Exhaustion's that high already, huh? Man, infection grew fast. We're using that powder tonight, probably. I would not be surprised if it's significant by the end of the day. But I'm just kind of trying to get through today in a reasonable manner. What's one that holds back the infection? It has the level of infection. That's good. Lowers infection. Immunity booster. Reduce the rate of infection. Oh, it's fairly harmful. And I'm trying to hold back its rate of spreading. I don't want to use the ones that cut it in half anymore. I've kind of made that mistake before. But the ones that cut it in half are ones I should use when I actually am at the point where I need it to be cut in half. So my next goal is I want to go back to Sabarov to try to see if I can tell him how corrupt his people are. Now that I know that. The quest doesn't prompt me to do that, but I want to see if I can do that. I'll, and I'll drop by Yulia on the way there. Loop around to that. Because I might... I think Yulia is one of the bound, or at the very least, it's a, it's a significant-ish character and that has a major house. I want to pay those characters a visit when I can. This one doesn't chase me. Gross. Goopy sounds. Ooh. It's so yellow here. God, dude, have you seen how yellow it is here? Ah. Dried meat. A lot of things to trade for it by and large, but you know. Please. Bandage me, Captain. I'm having no trouble getting these bottles for you guys. I just need to find more of you that actually will trade. Oh shit. Oh shit, don't let him win. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Haha! -ha. I'm a good guy that you guys like now. Reputation's all capped out and everything. Isn't that great? Bandages. Don't worry now. Don't worry now. Don't worry cause it's all under control. I wonder if a single person on Earth knows that goddamn song, actually. Yes. I have a terrible headache, but it will pass soon. Yep, so same as the others, they all have a thing going on. I wonder if they're all reacting negatively to the, uh... I mean, they could just be sick, because, you know, the, the game's premise. But, uh, they might all be universally reacting to how bad, like, tomorrow's apparently going to be. The game's heavily suggesting bad news is on its way. Let's try a clothing store. You actually sell clothing for once! Every time I've checked, you guys don't sell clothing. Fuck me. They're really expensive. Repellent jack boots. Strong, tall jack boots. The material's good repellent. Protect the legs and ankles from contact with infected surfaces. 
provide a uh, little protection against blows and dog bites for the lower legs and ankles. Dog bites. Repellent ankle boots. Short boots. Material for good repellent. Protect feet and ankle from contact with infected surfaces. Provide no protection. Uh, no un protection against blows and rat bites. This one says rat bites. This one says dog bites. Am I going to be attacked by dogs? Hmm. Well, that's that's horrifyingly expensive. I'm going to go on the cheaper one. I'm I'm going to I'm trying to focus on the idea of instead getting something that helps me resist uh infection. Is my main goal here. Got this drapery. Is there like a single use item? Oh yeah, water's worth like nothing here. Kerosene. Does kerosene f serve any purpose besides making the game slightly lighter? Generally speaking, I can see kind of all right in this game, even at nighttime, without. I don't, I don't think I even increased brightness, did I? But uh, I don't. F I feel like I wouldn't want to light a lamp because I feel like I'd be worried that like I'd be attacked <laughs> by uh, just anyone really. I just don't want to be attacked. Seems like a bad time. So these boots are almost as valuable as a schmouter, at least by this guy's estimation. Huh. Do I just bite the bullet and just accept the cost, which is like half my money? I think so. I was tempted to try trading, but I kind of want to keep the stuff that he'd be more likely to actually trade for, for a decent value. Oh, that, there we go. The, out, the, out, the outline turns on when it's equipped. Hmm. You toggle them on. So whenever I walk into a nasty infected scenario, I should pop those on to defend myself. I think I want to keep them off otherwise, because other, they'll... Their duration, their durability will wear down and become one more thing for me to try to pay for. I thought I tried equipping them before and I couldn't figure out whether they were equipped or not. And like something as obvious as an outline wasn't necessarily happening, but I don't remember. There's a whole playthrough to think back on, so that something that specific is tough. It was a bountiful night. The infection has reached the jail, Governor. The inmates are panicking. Set them free, or I swear, you'll be the one to answer the quiz to the Inquisitor. I'll make sure of that. I can answer for myself just fine, Bachelor. By the way, if you expect the Inquisitor to show more mercy, then you know nothing of Inquisitors. Especially not the one sent here by the powers that be. And who would that be? We aren't sure yet, but it's already clear that it will be either Orf or Karminsky. I can't tell which one is worse. I'm ready to bail the innocent ones out. How much do you want for each one? They're not in debtor's prison, Bachelor. They're accused of robberies and banditism. They should be put on trial, not bail. Be better death sets them... Better death sets them free from your... Oh, better death sets them free than your money. You're making a mistake. Uh, wobble wobble. <laughs> the rabble is complete. Well, what's left of that quest now? Jesus. So he knows... Oh. Why can't... I'm bothered by the fact that he said he claims to have trust in these people and I can't call him out on that and I can't tell him that like they're charging to set these people free 
and that they don't care about justice, and that and that means that they're pro- that 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 casts suspicion on whether the accusations are even accurate to begin with. If they're willing to free them based on money. That said, there's three elements here. There's the there's the enforcers that arrested them, the executors that's willing that's willing to sell them off, and then Sabarov. So that's even more confusing. Should I should I expose to Sabarov that the executors are contradicting the other two groups, or something? Isn't isn't that potentially an, an important? Variable here? I don't know. Where's this hunchback again? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, he's at the beginning. So we need to figure out how to free the prisoners so I can qu I can ask Vlad and Victor Kane. Honestly, I should just ask, ask both, right? Maybe go by Victor Kane's place first. Just uh, Let's go to... I'll go to Vlad. And then loop back around. It gives me a chance to take a different path through the city than the one I've taken so far, which gets me one more loot. By which I mean bottles and stuff, not like the murder people for fun type of loot. Don't you fucking look at me like that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm definitely getting that feeling you get when you play a game more. Where the, the the map feels like it's shrinking. It's like that feeling when you play Dark Souls for the second time, and suddenly Dark Souls feels like a much smaller game than it did the first time around. I've, I think I'd mentioned that in, at one point in, in uh, Hollow Knight 2. It's just the part where you get more familiar with the map, and so like it physically feels smaller in various ways. Which is not a criticism, it's just that weird phenomenon. It's kind of like when something feels long the first time, and then you you can do it a second time, and it can feel like it's shockingly brief. What's the news? It's Clara, the make-believe saint girl, is actually a dirty liar. Oh really? Did she lie to you? Not to me, no. But now I know very well that she's not who she pretends to be. So, who is she then? When she lays her little hands on someone, people die. Everybody says she has a healing touch, but it's the other way around. Better avoid her embrace. Her hands are far from tender. Did you actually witness anyone die? My brother told me he did. He walked right behind an armed mugger as he squatted trying to ambush someone. Brother was keeping an eye on him. Clara put her palms on his eyes. He gave a jolt and then went quiet and fell to down. Stone cold very soon, and Clara just laughed and walked away. Quite a story. And what's in your pockets? What's in your pockets? It's drugs! Who's got drugs? You've got drugs. There's one each, right? Yeah. Stock up on some drags. There goes those. There we go. Happy to have them. Other boy, come here. And also the one up there was the other girl. Damn it. Come here. Come back. Come back. Stop walking away from me. Damn it, I am twice as tall as you. It should not take this long to catch up with you. Thank you for stopping. Ooh. I'm doing good on that stuff though, aren't I? 12. Not amazingly. Might want to stock up a little bit. If I can, yeah, if I have sufficient value here, which I do. Yeah, these are one-to-one -one trades. Holy crap. You just trade a shaving razor for that. That's all plaguey around here. Gross. You alright, buddy? You're acting weird. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Let's skirt the plague a little bit if I can. Also upstairs was the was the uh, adolescent girl. Is that the right thing? Adolescent child. Is it child then adolescent then teenager or something? I don't know. The older little girl was up here, which means she has other new dialogue. Oh, I didn't check what your, what your dialogue was. Thanks for walking towards me. That undoes me having to walk back to you. Hey you, don't you mess with us. We know a thing or two about life. Like I would want to rub shoulders with the likes of you. Oh, there's no new dialogue there. Never mind. My in in immunity is down already. 
pump that up. We're back to the theater again. Probably too soon to check all of these again, right? Yeah, maybe. Hard to be sure off the first one, because any of them could just be empty by happenstance. Why are these rats so mad at me? And also, why do they... God, they're big. <laughs> okay, you need to cut it out. They're so big they almost look like possums or something. The little girl's gone. Oh, well. So people ex people have said that those are in universe explanations for why the all the all the uh I already talked to you, right? Same dialogue as before. Right. I've already talked to them. I think all that's missing is the older girl. Yeah. So people talked about how there's like an in-universe explanation for why all the sick people chase you in this game specifically out of all the people but they don't but that doesn't explain why the rats only chase me so checkmate game they gave them the same ai <laughs> so it's still weird Oh man, we're stocking up. Hey you. Anything I can do for you? I'd like to talk some more about the feudal lords. Tell me about the three families, please. What do you think of the canes? Who in particular? I mean the family as a whole, their agenda. And what is the canes agenda? They make our childhood dreams come true. An eccentric course. It is. And their police and their policies are peculiar as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to sell the idea to you. I only know that they are very fond of you. It's not easy to win their favor like that. Really? And how did I win it? Thanks to Maria, I guess. She has that supernatural intuition of hers. Her mother's heritage. She can feel the resolve within you. She can read your intentions. That makes her believe that you're going to help us all. And we, well, we believe along. I appreciate that. It's such a weird fantasy looking tower. Every time I look at it, I'm like, what the hell is that? It's a stark visual. It's like the, uh, I mean, it's like some of the other really odd ones in this town. Uh, but the other ones have been explained and addressed directly more, so at least I have a little bit more context for them, whereas that one, I don't think anyone's mentioned it yet. It's just a really weird ver uh, element in the background that I'm just stare at, confused. Ooh, trying to attack me through the walls, are you? Sand plague. I'll teach you a thing or two. How is my exhaustion this high? Oh, right, the antibiotics cause exhaustion, don't they? Why is no one being buried? Tonight, the patrols were gra uh, were grabbing anyone who looked even remotely suspicious. Two dozen people were arrested just for having a knife or other weapon in their possession. Many were taken for not giving out Yakalek's accomplices. Others for looting the dead or their homes. I know, I've talked to Victor Kane. What? Oh yeah, because he did, he did send me on that, yeah. Uh, let's maybe not mention that, though. They don't always get along. What will happen to these people? Almost all of them are innocent. There's no direct evidence that proves otherwise. They're awaiting the judgment of an Inquisitor, who's bound to arrive here very soon. Tomorrow night, I think. Or early the next day. But since it's going to be either Orf or Karminsky, I wouldn't expect much lenience. Why are you so sure of their innocence? Because the patrolmen would have killed anyone proven guilty. However tenuous the accusation, during the arrest, if they didn't feel 
the, in, in the right, ending those people's lives, then the arrested are innocent. Perhaps a few of them might just happen to be robbers, but that's pure coincidence. This is a disgrace. The rest assured I will speak with Sabarov about that. I want to bribe the executor guards and free some of those people. Would you be willing to help me? With pleasure. An unexpected gesture from you, though. What's your motive? Duty. I don't readily sympathize with people, regardless of which side the bars they're on, but I feel responsible for any acts committed by those with power. It is my duty to undo and compensate at least a fraction of the damage inflicted by the law enforcers' incompetence. Very well. I'll collect as much money as I can. Are you going to give me any money, though? Being locked in jail equals being sent to the gallows in the current situation. Both spell uh, imminent death. The executors demand 10,000 per person. 20,000 is the best I can do. Hopefully this will restore at least a shred of the lost faith in authority. It's a very lump sum. Thank you. 20,000. Ah, oops, I missed a W- When I put my hand back, I've missed WASD entirely. Whoopsie. Uh, gotta be careful around here, it's full of bad. You coming at me or are you staying still? Clouds are so weird in this game. Yeah, it's wet sounding. Gross. So that's a good start. We now have 20,000. I need 60,000 to free that group, though. So I st I was, it's only one third. And that's not a good sign, because our list of people to try asking is like... It's just two people. That doesn't account for the amount of stuff I'll need. Not going over there. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit! Ah! Why did this become such an action movie? Why is Plague Guy up here? You're not supposed to be up here. There's no guards to keep track of you guys, is there? Empty bottle- oh, I must have checked recently. Hi. You never have anything to say. It's not even noon yet, I'm that exhausted. Ah. Uh, this is the incentive to not be drugged up. This is the incentive to not be using, uh... I'll save, but I, th I think I'm gonna rest for a little bit. I don't even have today's quest yet, right? No. Or even a, a letter saying what it will be? No. Huh. Let's take one of these, and I'll rest for two hours. Trying to make some progress with exhaustion and my exhaustion and health. It's not amazing. I'm not super psyched about how much progress is made. Ruben's note. My source is almost depleted. After many futile attempts, I am quite confident that the bacteria can be isolated. The enemy can be captured, though you are likely to be terrified by what it would take. Come see me as soon as you can. The hunting parties can track me down that track me down are liable to discover my hideout at any moment. I'm on my last legs. Stonk Reuben. Stonk, stank, stank ass Reuben. Uh. Gonna load, load my save real quick. I, cause I was like, I should make a manual save. And I'm like, no, don't make the manual save after the time skip. You make the manual save before the time skip, just in case you make the whole thing unre unreasonable. For me, it's, I don't have a ton of tasks going on right now, so I'm not super worried about today yet. So I don't really want to use my coffee yet. I want to have more of an emergency before I use my coffee, is my thought process. But, uh... We'll see. Maybe one more hour. Exhaustion's pretty low now. Okay, so... That's, that's the Ruben note. So now I have today's quest? I don't have today's quest. Not until I talk to Ruben, I guess. Yeah. 
So it's now it's almost three o'clock. Not amazing. I made a manual save first though, so now at the very least I don't have to worry about if I if this was a huge mistake, then I can go back without having to replay the entire day. Unfortunately, yeah, my my all my solutions for immunity make me more tired, I believe. But yeah, trying to manage trying to manage this disease is just definitely makes the game harder. <laughs> because exhaustion is like just it just doesn't work that way normally. You don't normally have to deal with your freaking exhaustion meter filling up over the course of half a day. But when you're taking a bunch of drugs, it adds up. And it's easy to forget that that's not even how it works because you don't- the visual feedback's not always the strongest. Even if you flash a bunch of meters on the screen, it's hard to keep track of them all yeah, on the fly like that.